Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at AutoCode Rover, which is an AI powered software engineer. If you remember last year, there was a huge um, euphoria around agentic software engineers like uh, Devlin and Open Devlin and then Devin and there were a lot of other tools which were popping up here and there, just like these days, AI agents are everywhere. At that time, there was this project AutoCode Rover, which also popped up. It is still going on, which is good to see that this hasn't really disappeared. It's an uh, autonomous AI agent, which you can point to your local repo or to your uh, remote repo in GitHub, and it provides a patch for any issue in that code. The aim of this project is to fully automate uh, the approach for resolving GitHub issues like bug fixing and feature addition where LLMs are combined with analysis and debugging capabilities to prioritize patch locations, ultimately leading to a patch. So we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. As far as I can see, you can use it with OpenAI's models, with Anthropic's models, with Grok's model. I don't see any option of using it with Olama or local models, but I think if it can be done with OpenAI, um, that shouldn't be hard to provide an OpenAI compatible, but at the same time, I also understand that uh, running it with quantized model in Olama might not produce the same level of quality. That is the lay of the land at the moment. Anyway, let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agentbot. Agentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so as I said that I'm going to use uh, OpenAI's model. So for that, you would need to specify this OpenAI's API key. So make sure that you have set it and you can grab your own key from platform.openai.com. If you want, you can use Anthropics model or Grog's model. Most of them are paid options with some sort of free credit. So let me set my key here and clear the screen. Now, the only prerequisite which you need for this tool to run is to have Docker installed. So make sure that you have some recent version of Docker installed. As you can see that I have this Docker version. And if you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I already have covered it in a very simple to understand video. Let me git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And from here, we can simply run this command to build the Docker images. And you can see that it is downloading and building it and that is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it. And the build is completed, took around seven minutes. Let me now run it. Let me actually clear the screen and then we will run it on a clear one. So in order to run it, all you need to do is to just provide this command where we are running it in the interactive way. We are providing our open AI's API key. As I said, if you're using Anthropic or Grok, just replace this with your own API key. And you can see that it is running. You can check your container with the help of Docker PS command. Okay, so the reason why it is not uh, showing me because my Docker XE is not here. So let me quickly put it there. Because I'm logged in to the container due to this interactive way. So that is why it is not showing, which is fine. That makes sense. Now, in order to run it, all you need to do is to run these commands where we are seeding into this opt directory within the container. We are activating this conta environment within the container and then we will point it to the repo. So let me first run this. And now in order to uh, patch or fix the issue in any remote repo, all you need to do is to run a command like this, where within the container, and remember this thing from the current working directory, we are issuing this command with a GitHub issue. And then we are putting this in this, whatever the results would be in output directory. And then this is a model we want to use temperature, which uh, gives us the randomness of the response. And you can see that we have put it on a very low value because we want the answer to be deterministic. We really don't want the model to just run away with it. 
and then this is the task id you can provide it your own and then this is a link where the github repo is this is a commit hash of our issue and then this is a issue link and similarly you can add feature or uh, whatever you want to do with it with any other issue so let me run it so you see it is cloning into this it is going to take a bit of a time as it clones it it is running the task lang chain and it's a paid option so remember that if it is going to do a lot of stuff it is going to be um, issue with it in terms of cost so this is where i am a bit apprehensive about these tools because they could just go really really crazy very soon it is taking a bit of a time but definitely progressing and with every passing second i'm just looking at my open ai's bill to see how much it is costing and that is a thing not only you have to be aware of that cost but also around throttling it's a huge if it's a huge repo you might encounter some throttling issues that is why i always believe that if you are running a shop where you want to really implement this sort of software engineer you had have to have your own local model running on your uh, you know in your own cloud or your own on prem or even if you want to go with any cheaper hosted service in the cloud maybe like mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gp for this video you can easily rent a gpu on a fraction of cost if you really want to go with mass compute you can check the video description i will also give you 50 percent discount coupon which is also in video description that you can use to really run your own models in mass compute very very cheaply and you don't have to really worry about then throttling or cost and stuff like that anyway so it is running uh, the only downside which at the moment other than cost which i see is that it takes a bit of a time okay so i think that issue is already closed so that is why it didn't generate it but we got the idea that it has um, it can generate the patch and all that stuff so you can try it out on your local repo as i said all you need to do is to just go to their repo and then if you just scroll down i'll quickly show you the command which you can readily use sorry i'm just okay so this is a local mode where you can run so this is a github issue and then this is an example of running on length uh, github and this is a local one so you can simply use this point it to your local repo and then run it as is but of course local repo doesn't mean that uh, you're not you're using local model still you are using the remote hosted model but anyway a pretty i would say interesting tool docker based I'm not sure if they have any plan of using it with uh, local models that would be really good or at least open source model that might also give us some cost saving there. Let me know what do you think about this tool. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already sub subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.